Hi everybody, welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. We have had our awesome Ram ProMaster 2500 high top van now for about four months. And I'd like to tell you five things specifically why I really do like this van. And uh, one thing that I don't. So let's get to it. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about um, that I really like about this van, uh, even though you can't see them, is the brakes. If you ever do go test drive or if you own one of these uh, Ram ProMaster vans and the first time you stop, you're going to go, wow, this thing stops. It probably has really good brakes on it uh, due to it being able to carry a lot of weight and tow a lot of weight. This vehicle can also tow up to like I think it's 5,600 pounds, 5,800 pounds behind it with a full cargo load. I even heard rumors that the company Brembo made the brakes for this van. First time I got in this and hit the brakes, uh, they were awesome. Okay, the second thing that I really like about this van is um, you can watch your instant fuel economy and you can see that we've only driven this van in four months, 973 miles. But this van, surprisingly front wheel drive, um, I think it is a V6 engine, really gets good average um, fuel economy. I'm going to say overall, um, it gets probably about 20 to 22. So that's another great thing. I love this instant readout it gives. So I don't know if you can see that, but like right now, you know, I'm coasting through the neighborhood and it's going up to 25, 27. And you can see as you take off, you're not getting very good gas mileage. But then as soon as you get up to cruising speed, the difference, see now it's doing, you know, 30, 40 as I come up to this light. You can really see when you're pulling a hill or just cruising, you know, down the freeway, exactly what fuel economy you're getting at any time. I don't know if you can hear the engine, I'm really on it. But now you can see, so if you're going down the freeway and I'm just doing 40 in this neighborhood, but it gets really, really good gas mileage. And I'm going to say we probably average, um, once again, about, you know, 22. See, right now I'm coasting to this stop sign and it's getting 99.9 .9 miles a gallon. So that's number two on my list of the five things I really like about this Ram ProMaster van is its gas mileage. So number three, while I'm in the van driving, um, I will show you what I like about this van while I'm in it and it happens to be this backup camera. The backup camera is really awesome. So you can see the green lines and those lines going down each side are perfectly the width of the vehicle so you know exactly where you are at all times. If you're in a one vehicle parking spot or like a one vehicle driveway you can really see where you are um, perfectly. So the next thing look at are these uh, yellow lines here, these yellow dots. They are tell you how close you can back up and still get the back doors open without hitting what you're at. And then the red, the two red down here, that is the back of the vehicle. So there is a truck back here. And I'm going to slowly back up against this truck in this neighborhood here. And mind you, I don't have any windows in the cargo area. There's no rear view mirror. You just have to depend on the backup camera. And the backup camera is just great. So I'm going to come back onto this truck here hope you can see that and I am getting close to this truck 
but I'm going to come in and get out and get close to these yellow lines here. About right there, I probably could go closer, but then I'm going to um, put it in park. So as you can see, I backed up onto this truck pretty closely, but I can still open my doors. And see, they were really, really accurate. Hope you can see that. That I hold it right here. See, and I still had six inches, but I got pretty close without touching the truck. See, and that one's just gonna make it. See how how good that backup camera is. Actually, my plastic did touch the truck. But that's how great that's how great and accurate the backup camera is. Fourth thing I like about this van is the overall width of the inside of the van. So as you can see, this is a full-size bed. This bed mattress happens to be uh, 75 inches long, which is what uh, six foot three, um, six foot three inches um, by 54 inches. So that's uh, what four and a half feet. I'm six feet tall, and let's see if I can show you that I fit in here nicely. So there's my feet. Right there, I'm not touching, I can touch. This is my head, which is fine. And I don't really sleep on my back anyway. I sleep on my side. You might not think it's wide enough, but my wife is only five feet tall. And uh, we're very, very comfortable in here. So, I don't know the exact specification of the width in the van. It's got to be probably 6 feet, uh, 3 to 6 feet 5 inches for a full-size mattress to get in here. So, that is number 4 that I love about the van. Okay, number 5 what I like about the van. Like I said, I'm 6 feet tall. And I hope that shot gets that. Let's see what angle's better here. That I do have headroom in here. I'm standing on my tippy toes. And this is a kind of a drop down um, ceiling. And I have insulation up there. So you can see that it pushes up a little bit. But I have plenty of headroom in here. You can see that I can walk in here standing on my tippy toes and I really love the headroom in here. Uh, Mercedes vans in them are rear wheel drive and so I don't know if you can see this distance here um, right here this distance here um, there's no drive shaft going to the back wheels so it allows this van to be lower to the ground. Um, this distance here down to the ground um, is lower than the other vans. So even though you have the headroom inside, this being lower here by it being a front wheel drive vehicle makes the overall height of the van up here lower which helps with uh, wind and probably gas mileage and everything else. Okay, continuing on with the fifth thing I like about the Ram Promaster over the Mercedes van. I hope you can see that uh, I believe inside both of these vans have very similar uh, standing room inside, but you can see how much taller um, this Mer Mercedes van is, but you can see that that Mercedes is probably a good foot taller uh, than the Ram Promaster. But that concludes the fifth thing that I love about the Ram Promaster. High top 2500 cargo van. It's pretty awesome. Okay, the one thing I do not like about the van nothing's perfect is the seats 
The seats in themselves are comfortable, but you can see that the passenger seat, um, the passenger seat does not have any armrests. So we're going to have to do something about that. The seats themselves, like sitting in them and support, you know, bolster, side support, everything, they're really comfortable seats. But there's only one armrest on the driver's seat, and this armrest over here is too far away. The door's too far away, and it's really not comfortable for your arms in here for long trips. So that's the first thing wrong with the seats. The second thing with the seat is it's too high. So this is my view out the road. Um, I do like that we sit high and whatever, but it, there's no way I could ever <laughs> use the sunshade. The sunshade now just like... So I would have to bend down like this to look out the window. Let me see if I can get this shot here. So you can see my head and you can see where the sunshade is. And there's no way... There's just no way to see out of the van. Um, with that up, I hope you can see the distance of my head to here. Um, in a bad accident, I don't know if I would hit that or not. Um, but that's the one thing, the one thing I do not care about this van. All right, so that's my video on the five things um, overall, I really love this Ram Pro Master 2500 high top van. Thanks again for watching um, our video. I hope you're having an awesome day. Um, put a smile on your face and go out and have some fun. Bye!